Hello everyone we're still doing this exercise here exercise number 1 we oh, again if you're watching this for the first time this is the textbook we're using here okay here this is the cover page okay uh, okay let me read through the question we're doing exercise number 1 we've got to write a program that prints your name a 100 times I've already given you guys a solution. However, it wasn't so convenient if you ask me. Even though it did give us what we wanted, which is to print our name a hundred, is it a number of times? Oh, a hundred times, I mean. Oh, let me just use that different. Let's just go range, not rain. In range. On and red. For a change, let me do one, two, one, or oh, one. And then I'll simply go print. I want to print name, however, I want to print it uh, 10 times. So if I want to do that, then I better do things like that. Um, this is my second solution on this exercise here. This is my range, so starting from 1. Those who, my indexes will start from 1 up to 10. 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 10. Okay, so why 10? Why we don't want to go all the way up to 100? It's because for each index, we will display 10 names. So that's why we do not need... Uh, we do not need to go all the way up to 100. Again, this might not look uh, as great as it's supposed to. But we do have these names here. 10 per line. Perhaps it will be better for me to put a little bit of a space there. That way we exactly... You see, now it is better looking, you guys. Okay, so this is going to be it for this tutorial, you guys. It was pretty straightforward, if you ask me. Again, in case these numbers confuse you, we could simply go 10. Starting from 0 all the way up to 9. We will still get one in the same answer. Okay, cheers, you guys. I am gone.